Next I'm going to add some dimensions to my object. I have dimensions here on my home panel under annotation. We have a flyout for different types of dimensions that I can add. I also have under the annotate tab we have a panel for dimensions. In this case I'm going to add a linear dimension. I'll check to make sure that my object snaps are turned on and that my endpoint is active. It's necessary when I'm dimensioning that I absolutely snap to the endpoints of my objects because my dimensions will be measured from my object. So I'm going to pull the dimension away from the edge and when I get it to the distance that I want I will click. I'll add another snapping to this endpoint and to this endpoint pulling this out and in the correct location snapping it. Now I'm going to add some dimensions on the end. They're again considered to be uh, linear dimensions and so first we'll measure from these two endpoints and then we'll measure again from this top endpoint that bottom endpoint and I will place the dimensions. To dimension the circle I'll use my flyout and I want to show this as diameter. So I'll click on diameter, click on the edge of the circle and I'm going to pull this leader out to the side and click on the location that I want. Now in looking at my dimensions I notice that the precision is set to four decimal places and I only wanted two. To change this in my dimensions I have to edit my dimension style. That can be found on the annotate tab. Under dimensions you have this small arrow in the lower right corner which when I click opens up my dimension style manager. Right now we're using the standard style and a style is just a combination of many different settings that would go with a particular thing like here it is our dimensions. I'm going to modify this dimension style and there's a couple of things that I want on here. First of all I want center lines on my circle instead of center marks so I'll change this to line. You can see here in my sample that it changes. That's a center mark. Center lines extend past the outside edge of my circle. Then under primary units I'm going to change my precision from four decimal places to two and that again is updated in my example. I'll say OK and close and now you can see that those changes have been applied to my dimensions here.